just applying it. And then <laughs> the next step is to make you know each part like a vessel or like a retorter, you know, has a flat part. So <coughs> that is made, and that is usually a quarter um, a quarter of the circumference, and we have this tool that wherever you wherever you are, you know, it's always a quarter in here. Did you forge all your own mandrels? Have we made most of them of the circumference? So. Cool. We have made we made we made a lot of tools over the years. So now I'm going to do this part here. Yeah. The mirror here at the bottom. So I can with the mirror I can line up with, with a groove on the bottom here. Mm -hmm. So I so it's symmetrical. That's the foot. Oh, and then the body actually has a different tool here. Same thing, and then they will line up in the end. So this is called the upper lip. That's the longer part. That's where the sound will actually happen at that at that place once it's done. Is that where you'll cut like a hole in it? To yes. Uh -huh. So now the next thing is squaring things off and then putting a languid on. It's called a, a piece here that will limit sort of the the wind will come through that slot. You know that. You know and then hit hit this you know edge here and split. The, the, the air band and, and create that whistle, the sound. So for this, I'm going to just use, we have sort of machines for this, but uh, just for this one, it's not worth. I'm just going to square it off by hand. Tell them where you learned to trade. Yeah, I, I grew up in Austria, that's where I also mm -hmm. learned it. So, uh, and yeah, I came, and um, it's, um, I was growing up, you know, I was going to church and I just couldn't stay away from the organ. I just always wanted to hear it, so I went to, went to church a lot. Do you know how to play an organ? Just a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I do a lot, I know a lot about the organ music and the organ, you know, the, the, the organology and the musicology about the history of music and I listen a lot so because my ears have to, I mean I have to know how, how an organ works and how it's supposed to yeah. be you know so, so anyway now I'm doing this beveling again because something is going to saw, be soldered on here and that is how we do that part and then the flux always wouldn't even work without the flux it would just be splotchy So now let's see for the thickness. So these are all everything is always always um, uh, proportional, you know, everything so the thickness of this piece that I'm putting on here is going to be rather important. Oh okay. And we prepare these things ahead of time because uh, it's not easy to do these things all each time. So now I'm just soldering on this thing here. So what's the solder made? Like the solder is made out of this so the lowest uh, melting point of tin and lead alloy. It's called eutectic. 
uh, metal, and that means um, the 63% tin and 37% uh, lead is the lowest melting point of that alloy, and that happens to be what solder mostly is. Some plumbers uh, sometimes have uh, slightly different alloy for depending what they do, and they do the, the soldering the pipes. Which I think nowadays they have different metal. No more, no more lead in those pipes, water pipes. Now I'll finish this off. So why do you tap the um, flux with your solder after you put it on the? Because it 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 um, it, uh, it cleans. Okay. It cleans things, you know, so it separates the, the crud from the actual metal. So now this this position here, see here you have the slot where the yeah. wind comes through. This sits in a, a top of a hole where the wind comes through. And then this this height is critical for voicing, we call it, giving them the sound, make 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 the pipe work right. So this this is just an experience factor. <coughs> and now Put it together, line things up. What do you guys are studying? Or is this, are you in, in a particular class? Uh, we're in math. <laughs> math. <laughs> 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 They're also in physics. Yeah, we're all in physics too. Oh, okay. Most of us will be studying. Most of us want to, yeah. Engineering. Yeah. Engineering, okay. And most of us also do music as well. <coughs> and there are several... All but one. Several <laughs> musicians here. So. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, yeah. What kind of instruments? And my, <clears throat> my previous experience says that you have the most attuned eye at ear as far as frequencies and everything else. <laughs> Okay, now we had the pipe sort of finished, but uh, I'll blow into it and nothing will happen. Screw it off. I can't, can't have anything going on because there's no... Um, I'm going to cut this open, just preliminary kind of hole. It's just a knife, like a chip carving knife uh -huh. kind of thing. I'll try. Still not because it's still too small. No, this knife is not helping. <coughs> yeah, maybe there's a little something going on. Oh, oh. <laughs> very poor quality because it, it's, it's you know it's a. I'm going to do some more cutting here to a place yeah, where I know <laughs> it needs to be. So what note is that pipe going to turn into? Um, let's see, that one is... Um, I think it's about sort of like an F. But we will see when we put it on the on the chest. <coughs> so what determines the note? Uh, the, the length, length the, of the length. The, of the, 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 the pitch, yeah, is the pitch is, is, it, is it length and circumference? I think it's a combination of both. The uh, so the diameter of the pipe. And this measurement here, the width, mm -hmm. will determine um, how much sound will come out of it. Because a wider pipe has a wider windway, so more, more wind is coming through. So will the pitch change depending on how much wind goes through it? Uh, yeah, if there's less wind or if there's an obstruction, for example, of, of the normal wind, for example, that could be 
for some reason, you know, that there could be a cause for the pipe to go out of tune. And because the, the pipe is formed into um, a shape, formed into, into, into tuning. So there are no moving parts, everything, you know, so I'll show you on that. And actually, now it's kind of a, a real sound, you know, it's not too far away from what, what I would want. And it has to blow into the octave, you know, an octifier, mm -hmm. uh, at a certain pressure, and that's when I know when it's right for the pressure that I'm thinking of. You know, I'm, I have to adjust my mind with that, you know, because I, I can blow in and sort of determine approximately what the pressure is, you know, what, that I'm blowing. So it's overblowing a little bit too fast, actually. Uh, it would, on a normal pressure, then just overblow and, you know, sound that sound, an octifier, rather than and that. So now I'm just going to um, uh, wash the, the paint off just with water. It's, uh, like I said, it's like an air off just like that. Uh, so like, paint just to keep the solder from... Yeah, only, from only strictly just for that. Yeah. is very important because if uh, on lead this and this alloy if the uh, water drops uh, are not um, dried off right away you know, they will always be there you always see that <laughs> because it's sort of like like um, um, corrosion basically it starts that process with the moisture yeah, you can get it fairly shiny, you know, by depending how much. So, and now we go into the other room in there where I have the voicing equipment.